Hi! Here I am, no makeup, no nail polish, no special lighting, no tripod. <laughs> All the equipment that most YouTubers have, I don't have that stuff. I'm just here talking to you, my followers. So I wanted to just share a brief um, story about transcendence on my particular personal journey. I identify as a star seed. The reason why is about, I want to say eight years ago, I did a past life hypnosis with a very talented hypnotherapist here in Coral Springs. And it was a three hour hypnosis session. It felt like it was 20 minutes. Now, most black people, myself included, I just assumed that my past life would bring me back to Egypt, you know, royalty, of course. <laughs> and um, I went for a particular issue uh, having to do with relationships and wondering why I keep seeming to have this karma in my relationships, my love relationships. And I wanted to address it via a past life hypnosis session. Now, past life hypnosis is good for all kinds of things. Um, I mean, I had a friend at the time who went for smoking. She wanted to address smoking from um, insomnia. You know, you can address all kinds of issues with hypnosis, uh, past life hypnosis, past life regression, and things of that nature. I went for relationship issues. I wanted to delve a little bit deeper into my psyche and into my past life um, to explore that issue. Now, I also wanted to, um, you know, kind of like explore the issue of a higher self. You know, I am a big believer in the spirit and the soul transcending the physical experience, our three dimensional experience. So when she brought me back, one of the first things she does when she brings you into the hypnotic trance is to ask you to look down at your feet and describe them. When I looked down at my, free, my feet and described them, I saw a very strange foot. <laughs> and then she has you look around and I noticed that I was looking at something that didn't look like Earth, but it was quite obvious that it was another planet. So I was an alien on another planet. I was pink. Um, she just asked you to describe your hands and your arms and I didn't have human hands and things of that nature. So um, I remember a lot of it, not all of the details. And she gives you a recording of it and I went back and listened to the recording. There were some really unique things. For example, um, she asked me to say some things in my language that I spoke. Um, I spoke in a language I've never heard of. It was not an English, human, any language, Latin, Spanish, German, nothing. Um, and, you know, just some of the things that I was doing, um, it was just really amazing. And, um, yeah, so I identify with the whole starseed thing. That's when I started really looking into what is a starseed? What does it mean to, um, be interdimensional. Um, you know, we know that here on planet earth, we are energetic. Everything is energy. Even what we perceive to be three dimensional is actually just little balls of atom atoms that are just vibrating together to form what we perceive to be solids. But it's really energy. Everything is energy. Everything we perceive is energy. And um, myself as an energetic human on this planet, um, you know, what does that mean to be a star seed? And I also identify as a star seed empath. So I thought that was a really interesting experience because it was from, it was my personal experience. It was completely, um, not what I expected, um, which let me know just how much it was into my subconscious. Um, and also let me know how, um, how interesting and how real this whole realm of a higher self and past lives 
really is and really means. So um, I wanted to share that because living the life that I've lived, I've experienced a lot of hardships and a lot of pain. And that's why transcendence and hope are very important to me because um, I know how it feels to be completely hopeless. I know how it feels to uh, not believe in yourself and not know really who you are or why you're here or what your purpose is or what even you really want to stand up and believe in. I mean, I was raised with certain convictions and I take a lot away from my childhood. I'm very grateful for the sense of integrity and the values that I learned from my childhood and growing up in my household. Um, but I've had to develop my own convictions and why it's important to be accepting and why it's important for people to know themselves and know why they're here and what's important to them personally so that they can fulfill their destiny and transcend the three-dimensional experience. So um, I wanted to share that. I also just recently did um, a wonderful YouTube video that a friend of mine sent to me to meet your spirit guides. And um, again, just completely going into these experiences with an open mind without any preconceived ideas. I mean, I, I did have some preconceived ideas. Like I said, the past life, I was expecting to be like in Egypt, you know, in a castle or something. <laughs> and um, with the past life, I, you know, I, I know that I've been getting into, you know, connecting with my ancestors lately. So I was kind of thinking I would be um, maybe meeting an ancestor or a past on loved one. And, um, lo and behold, when I did the meditation and she brings me back, um, I come face to face with a tiger and, you know, I've always resonated, resonated with the archetype of a tiger. And even though I am not in the Zodiac, the Chinese Zodiac of a tiger, I'm actually a rabbit, which never, ever fit for me because I've always been extremely bold. I mean, I'm an Aries. Hello with the Leo moon. Hello. So I'm extremely fiery. And so the archetype of a tiger just always, you know, appealed to me just like a lion, you know, but I like tigers cause they're more solitary and I'm definitely more of a solitary person. Um, and there was also another entity with this tiger that would resonate more with like an ancestor, very tall, almost like a gray being or like a gray alien or something like that. Um, this face was kind of obscured. And I couldn't really understand what they were saying, but I felt the energy and I did see a lot of white light as I was going back, you know, through the meditation that, um, that the, that I was listening to. So it's, it's really been an interesting experience, but I share that just to say that, um, it is important to transcend just the three dimensional experience because that's what gives you hope. That's what, um, helps you to keep going and know that, um, you know, that this is, this is school. This is about learning the lessons that we're here to learn. And then, you know, sharing what we are meant to share to help others. So I just want to take a moment and, and put that in this video. Um, I want to share my website as well. Um, my website is all about hope. And my brand is called Hope and Cookies. Why Hope and Cookies? Because I love sweets. I love cookies, my favorite sweet. If I were at a dessert bar and I had a piece of cake, a brownie, ice cream, chocolate chip cookies, cheesecake, I'm gonna go for the chocolate chip cookie. Like they're like, pick one, I'm gonna get the chocolate chip cookie for the most part. I mean, depending on the day, it could change, but for the most part, I'm gonna grab a warm, delicious chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> it's just my favorite um, dessert. And, um, but my cookies are actually different. I sell um, crinkle cookies, which are a different kind of cookie and um, they have a cool texture and they're just super fun and different, which is what I try to be. And I also have products that um, engender hope. So, you know, I have candles, I have all natural products that, um, you, you know, for the bath, um, lip relaxing lip glosses, um, you know, encouraging art pieces that I make, um, things of that nature. So check out my site as well, www.hopeandcookies.com. So H-O-P-E-A-N-D-C-O-O-K-I-E-S.com. That's my, um, my site. And I'm also on Instagram. I'm on Instagram at Allison's Cookie. 
So um, you can look for me there under Hope Cookies um, and if you'd like to place an order. But I am getting ready to um, start offering uh, readings. I am big into astrology and the readings that I do for astrology are a little bit different because they are more so along the lines of um, knowing your chart. So I will do your chart and then I do an, my interpretation of your chart based on the archetypes of astrology and what they mean, um, the influences of how, you know, it impacts your personality, you know, the inner conflicts you may have, how it may impact your relationships, things of that nature. Um, huge astrology nerd. So I've always been all of my life, a huge astrology nerd. So I'm offering know thyself readings and I'm getting ready to start my pick a cards. I'm a pick a card um, obsessed fanatic. <laughs> I follow so many fantastic readers here on, uh, YouTube. Maybe I'll feature some in a future video, some of my favorites, but, um, I love pick a cards and I'm going to start my own. I have a different idea. Of course, I want to do it a little bit different. You know, I'm a star seed, so I like to think outside of the earth box <laughs> and, um, do some, pick a card reading. So my first pick a card is going to be called know thyself. And it is going to be about who you are. I'm going to use my own, um, cards that I made and, um, mix that with a little bit of traditional tarot as well as, um, Archangel Michael cards for his input on that. So anyway, I just wanted to share that for today. I hope everyone's having a beautiful, wonderful day. I'm sending you many blessings, lots of love and light. Mwah.